Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Crow. And if you don't know, Crow stands for Conversion Rate Optimization with Wright. That's Jason Wright. That's me. I'm right. I mean, I'm not always right. But anyway, uh, my name is Jason. I'm from Web4, and today we're going to talk about New Horizons Dental here and some CRO ideas that I have to improve the experience of this site. So this site looks pretty good overall. Um, there's a couple things that I have that are some recommendations for, you know, maybe improving the experience, improving conversion. So I'm just scrolling through here. Got some navigation, got appointments, got menus, hero area, all kinds of stuff. Have no fear, free laughing gas is here. That's, uh... <laughs> Uh, kind of cheeky, but it, it kind of makes it sound like a drug operation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sleep apnea. Here we get our first, like, hey, this is who we are. Got our team. Hours map. Okay. One thing to note is that a lot of websites are using accessibility uh, plugins, which, to be clear here, accessibility plugins uh, are an add-on. They aren't the solution. So, yeah, you can sit here and tweak stuff and whatnot, but uh, sites are technically supposed to be accessible out of the gate, not configurable to be accessible. <laughs> uh, font increases, decreases one thing, but, you know, coming in here to be like, okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, take the next 20 minutes to uh, do that, and uh, let's do readable font, and, you know, let's let's do this, and uh, let's do that, and do this, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, so I gotta stop. Um, anyway, so that doesn't make a ton of sense, but um, here we are. All right, so we got all kinds of things flying out of me. We got this chat thing here. Let's get rid of that. So here are the main things I notice right at the top. I think the experience is, is decent. There are two things that really stand out to me that uh, I find kind of frustrating. And that is the overly staged photo here. Um, you know, this definitely feels like a stock photo, and maybe it's not, but it just feels like a stock photo. Um, it just doesn't feel authentic enough, so I would consider changing this. Uh, I don't think this is the same person here. Um, no. So, you know, I would I would switch this for something that's more casual. Um, the other thing that really bothers me is this Google thing. So, looking at this, my eyes, because this is multicolored, my eyes, uh, instead of going to the calls to action, go to this. And then they kind of go down here to the smile. So I'm not focused on any of the actions or the content of the page. And they have this testimonial here in the hero, which I think is something that could just be put down here a little bit lower. You know, it doesn't have to be up here. Um, if we If we take some of this stuff and like chop it up, you could still pretty much use this header navigation intact, but just really alter this hero. Like I don't, it's nice to see this story about Angela, but uh, really I want this messaging and the primary actions, not this Google logo, um, because those things are distracting and potentially taken away from conversion opportunities. So get the phone number lower on the page, patient portal, now, ideally, this would be up in a utility navigation, so at the very top here, select with this. Um, get rid of the social icons, put blog, probably blog, contact, payment portal, and, you know, uh, put the address up here in the top left, put the phone number uh, over here with the appointment request. And kind of connect those things a little bit better. This, th this section just needs to change. Um, different header, content, 
uh, in here would be good and uh, better text and learn more. So something that's more appropriate to whatever content's there. This is good. Contrast has to be changed here, though. This is going to be darkened back here to make this text readable. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, this is okay. Um, you know, it's about content, so that works. Meet the team's fine. Yeah, it could be spruced up and designed differently and whatnot, but you know, like names could be a little taller, bolder maybe, and have their titles be kind of nice. Um, if there's bios, you would, you know, put a read bio link there. Let's go to team. Yes, they do have bios. So you could do a little uh, read bio or read more about or view bio and have that link to a specific section on the page. It would be awesome. I need to see what this is since this is all over the place. Huh. Obviously helpful, but it's the, <laughs> it's the presentation of like, <laughs> just makes me think of Batman for some reason. Uh, get some reviews. Okay. So maybe I will, I wasn't going to do this, but maybe I will just do a little mock-up thing for this. Um, that's a little more shortcutted and streamlined. So let's go here. Let's take this my usual thing which is grab a screenshot and drop this in so we're actually going to leave all this here like this and this time we're just going to go over the top and we'll fit this in here now for me personally i don't like the color of the appointment request so that is something i would change but i'm not going to do that right now um, and then we have we have some content in that hero. Let's see if I can copy and paste that. Uh, nope, it's all an image. So let's go ahead and do this, this, best. So this is this is really not um, right now. It's his best dental experience I've had in my whole life. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's great as a headline for a testimonial section for sure. No doubt. No. No arguments there. Um, let's change. Let's say um, premium dental service from a. Let's just do a. Uh, what is it? Four stars? Five stars? Let's take a different approach. All right. Let's change this. Let's go boom. That right, let's, uh, it's fine. We'll go open. I just default to Open Sans because I have all these styles in here, and that works. Uh, let's this guy up. Let's fill the screen here. Uh, Forty-two is usually like the ultra big version that I pick. Okay, let's go ahead and pick. We'll just pick that for now, but we are definitely going to change that color. Okay, so if we click off of that, you know, obviously we're distracted by the screenshot here, but um, this is what we got so far. Let's just work in some margins here. Looks like that's kind of a margin that they got. And let's put one right there. So ideally, you would have that nav go up right against that margin. You'd have all the things fit against that. It just helps create balance on the page. Let's do semi-bold. OK, and then I want to do another paragraph here. And let's go like this. I'll probably go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to my plugins, fill. Insert. Okay, let's get rid of the spacing that we got here. I just want a little bit more content to play with. There we go. Alright, so let's let's bring that up a little. Let's space that out a little. 
actually like that amount. Let's get, unbold that. Okay, let's put a little period there. And let's grab a photo. So this is, you know, there's there's a lot of weight that's put into, um, you know, how pretty a design is. But oh, look, at the end of the day, it's it's the photos, it's the um, just context, you know, the headlines and everything else that uh, is what really sets things apart. Now, see, these are way too staged, right? Like. Oh yes, my perfectly perfect teeth with my totally perfect hair laid perfectly on my perfect... <laughs> uh, it, it's just not as authentic. This is pretty good, but kind of gives a feeling of anxiety probably for someone who, especially poor people don't like the dentist, which there are a lot of people who aren't a fan. Now this is good, because this doesn't feel staged, right? So let's go ahead and download this. Maybe. Possibly, yes, excellent. Let's bring this over here. Now look at that. Okay, well, obviously we, we are kind of messed up because we can't see the content, but um, it's definitely the way to go. Let's send these guys to the back, send it back. Let's uh, change these guys to white. And because, you know, maybe this is this is what we want, but let's uh, let's do that. Center, and then let's scale these guys. Uh, let's see if it'll let me do it like this. Yes. And let's go like that. Now, some of you are going to be like, well, you're just covering the image. Well, yeah. Okay. You don't have to be like that. Yeah, I'm covering the image. Uh, but you still see it. Like, we're not blind. Like, you know, you, you still get the context that's back there. Um, so, you know, we don't have to be so, like, oh, man, can you move it five pixels to the right so I can see his front teeth? Like, guys, like, this, you're setting a tone and emotion. You don't need to have, you don't need to be so specific with absolutely everything. You're just creating a feeling. Yeah, you, the human, are like, oh, I can't see the person's face. That, that's okay. <laughs> You'll survive. Um, that It's not the thing that you need to be focused on. The thing that you need to be focused on is driving the feeling, creating that experience for the user. So here we're doing some contrasty things. Let me just see. Yeah, that, that works pretty good. Let's just see what that button looks like. At that, See, that button color doesn't work, right? Because it's too flat blends too much. It's not as good. Whereas this works a little bit better. If we do a little cutout here, let me just see. I like that effect. This is hard to pull off if if uh, you don't use images. Um, so I'm just going to change this. Let's do black. Oops. And then uh, I did this for another project earlier, but let's keep this and let's go radio and black and uh, white, bring that down, okay, send it back, and that should be pretty strong. There you go. So that feels a little bit better overall. You know, if we take, we just group these items up here. Okay, so let's group that. This is what we had before. Very like bright, you know, uh, staged, a little bit different. You bring this in, it kind of hones in on the messaging and the purpose. But you know, there's a lot of ways to do this. We can we can accomplish the same thing and do something a little different. So we can take this, put this over here, and let's get rid of our uh, different levels of bolding here. Oops. Okay. And so what this version does, which again, these are just quick mock-ups, what it does is it helps uh, with the feeling here of feeling more authentic than staged, and then 
you get rid of the other elements that are drawing your eye to unnecessary places and instead replace that with context specific information, strong headline, strong sub headline, follow with CTA. And that again, may not be the most exciting thing for designers or um, even for businesses who might think like, oh, you know, I want something real whimsical. Well, at the end of the day, it needs to be functional. This is a tool. People are using this to contact you, make buying decisions. So uh, honing in those calls to action, making sure things are clear is the way to go to improve the overall experience. And then, you know, everything else that we talked about, uh, improving this content section, changing that headline, adding content, uh, adding uh, titles and links to bios would be really great down there. Um, and just little other touches that can really improve this experience overall. Navigation changes, some color changes uh, can really take them into 2021 and beyond. Once again, my name is Jason Wright. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Crow. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Later.